everybody. Welcome to my journey into another mini planning grocery haul. Now this week, oh, I can already feel the pounds clinging to my body because it's going to be a rough week. Mm, weekend, I should say. The week won't be, but come the weekend, it's going to be rough. So we'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, for today, I've already had my breakfast and it was my last prep. The chilaquiles, very good with that herd sausage uh, sausage. Her, I'm talking about sausage in a minute. Her dad's salsa verde on it is really good. And then for lunch, me and Sebastian will be in and out, and I'll be recording and filming. And my lunch is always messed up on grocery day, so I have ordered some protein bars if they have them in stock. I don't know yet because I hadn't got my um, notification. But I'm going to have one of those while I'm doing all my things. And then for supper, chicken, which will be however I feel like. Broccoli au gratin, which is a new recipe. And box taters. Hadn't had box taters in so long. We like them. I don't care if they're full of preservatives. This is not a perfect world, and I don't eat perfectly. So I needed some help. Besides the fact I don't want a bag of taters to go bad and then be forced to eat them when maybe we don't necessarily need them because we do have taters several times a week. So speaking of, here's one. So I'm just going to take some help from the grocery store. Besides, we like them. And then Thursday is called coffee cup scramble, but it's just you cook your eggs in a coffee cup in the microwave. And then um, I'll probably have some sausage. I didn't write it down. I'll probably have some sausage with that. Just depends on how far my pack of sausage goes, how many days I'll have it. I have it written down, but we'll see. And then I'm going to buy a salad kit to have a salad for lunch. And then supper will be hamburger steaks and onion gravy with rice and cauliflower with cheese. I still have some of the Trader Joe's tricolor cauliflower and a regular one. I'm, I'm going to mix those together. And then Friday, the coffee cup scramble again. And then this is when my weekend starts. Me and Holly are going to be out all day shopping for the birthday party. I've already put in one order at Walmart and got some um, shelf-stable things. And then we're going to be out getting everything else. Balloons, food, um, stuff from Sam's, from the regular grocery store. We're going to be busy. So I just put on the fly with Holly. Whatever. Whatever happens, happens. And then for supper, I have already told David we're having pizza. Because whenever I do parties, I do as much decorating as far as, well, if we decorate. But as far as getting my island covered, tablecloths, all the dishes, I put post-it notes on the dish so I know what goes on it. And I know that I have a dish for everything. I have it already situated so I'm not scrambling around trying to do that and other things the day of. So, I've already said, we're ordering pizza. Saturday. Day of, I'll be doing things, finalization, don't cook, don't mess up my kitchen, don't get in a tizzy. I'm going to tell David, bring Bojangles. I will probably get the breakfast platter, which is grits, an egg, a biscuit, and your choice of meat. That's probably what I'll get, because then you'll see Sunday what I'm going to have. And then, no lunch, because the party's at three, so there's no sense to eat when we're going to have all these little snickety snacks on um for the party cupcakes i'm gonna have a cupcake on my grandchild's first birthday yes i am i'm gonna have a cupcake and little snacks whatever and then for supper if we decide to eat anything depends on <laughs> depends on how much we eat at the party which i don't know we'll see and i'll try to um film it because she's picked out there's a lot of sweet things but things that are space themed and I made little tags for them. It's going to be cute. I think, I think, I think it's going to be really cute. And then for lunch, mm -mm, breakfast on Sunday, I'm going to make sausage biscuits. I, I have like four biscuits left in the freezer. You know, the kind you just pop in the oven from frozen. I think they're the grands. They're very good. And sausage, because that's what both of us picked this week. I picked having sausage and then he says, mm, give me some sausage. I'm like, Really? We picked the same thing? So I'm just going to make that for Sunday because we're going to be on the road for lunch and supper. 
RJ's girlfriend, she had a really good friend pass away, young girl, and they're um, having the funeral on Sunday. So I told RJ we would take Sebastian back because that's his day to go back. So we're going to be on the road. It's a 10 plus hour round trip. So you don't even need to think when I get home at 7 or 8 o'clock at night that I'm cooking anything. I am not that girl. Then Monday, depends on if I have sausage left. I'll have sausage, grits, and eggs. And the rest of the salad, how much ever's left, I don't know. If I'll eat half of the bag. Depends on what size bag I buy. And then for supper, spaghetti beef casserole. Tuesday, the same breakfast, depending on, you know, what I have. And I'll either have a PB&J sandwich or a ham sandwich. That will depend on if I have ham left, because I'm not sure what kind or what size of amount of ham that I'm going to buy, but I'm buying it to put in my salad. And then for supper, I'm getting hot back here, chicken pot pie soup. Now, we will eat soup year-round. And this is this is my thinking on it. Everything else you eat is hot. So what does it matter if you're eating hot soup if it's not cold outside? My spaghetti beef casserole on Friday is hot. Should I wait until it's cold outside to eat that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so we will eat soup year-round because hot food is hot food, whether you eat it with a spoon or you eat it with a fork. That is how I see it. So. We have a Walmart pickup today. We will do that. And then me and Sebastian will be going to Food Line. So we will have that. So let's just turn around and look at those groceries. Got all the way to the end of this video. It turned off. Didn't have the camera turned on. So the screen went away. I'm like, oh, okay, let's do this again. This is my Walmart haul. Got my milk and my almond milk as always. And these little celeries I buy when I just need a little bit because I've tried freezing it. it we don't use it. It's just a waste. I would rather spend extra money to get this little bit. And I need mozzarella cheese and some more light sour cream and peanut butter. We like the Skippy. David needed some decaffeinated iced tea and Lipton is the best. And some butter. And then I had moved this stuff, so let's move it back. I needed more oil, so I got the corn oil. And then David wanted the grape juice so he goes for the diet because it's less sugar and then he wanted to try this fruit and yogurt special K he'd been seeing it on TV and thought that sounded pretty good now I'm taking help with my cream soups you see one of my mushrooms is dented so I'll be getting my money back for that because I don't buy dented groceries two cream of chickens they're fine I got a Walmart brand for my recipe and then for just out and out eating we like the Campbell's tomato one of those is dented down there, and then there's another one dented back there, so I'll be getting money back for three cans of soup. Then I needed some diced green chilies, and we always get the mild. Here are my box taters that we're going to have tonight, actually, and they did have the protein bars, Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch, mint chocolate chip. I thought that sounded tasty. Here are the the important numbers, 16 grams of protein, only 3 grams of sugars, and 190 calories. So I thought for a protein bar, I didn't think that was too, too bad. So that is it. Got a few non-grocery um, items. But that is it from my Walmart. Coming up next is Food Line. Here's my Food Line haul. Got my eggs and my low-fat half and half. And I thought I wanted to get a couple of these little Breakstone doubles uh, they're really good just a nice little snack David some more cheese cubes and this is the ham I picked up for my salad I'm gonna do like half one day and half the next that would be four ounces and some frozen broccoli for my broccoli au gratin and I just went for the lo rom lo the romaine because the salad kits didn't look good and none of them sounded good and I got these because David loves to have these for his little midnight snacks which is during the day still midnight to him and then I got this for him he hadn't had these in so long we were out of jelly and I thought he might enjoy that and of course like I told you we both wanted sausage this week and of course Nisa's is the preferred brand they had some single fit crunch this one is peanut butter and jelly now this is the regular size is the other one 
these are huge so I'm just going to eat half at a time because they're like double everything almost so this is peanut butter and then this one is chocolate chip cookie dough I'm going to give those a try then they had some pork marked down these are all over nine dollars for just a little over three dollars for some bone in pork chops and that's um, David's favorite I gotta say they are good and a couple pork tenderloins for four bucks I keep blurring I'm sorry and David's bread and then here's Sebastian's area some Sonic fruit snacks pizza lunchables donuts letters and a Hot Wheel toy it's got some kind of toy in it and a chocolate something and then these are for Jacob's little birthday party so that is it for my food line haul hope you're having a good hump day and I will see you I'm not really sure so I will just see you when I see you